Hello everyone, this is Cassie with CJ's Crop Corner and Platinum Scraps. And today's video is taking you back to the basics. Today I want to explain to you the methods that I've used for laying out my layouts over the years. The first layout that we're going to start with is I used to take regular paper and draw my layouts by hand. So if you don't own Design Studio or a Gypsy or even own a computer, but you are a scrapper, you can still pre pan your layouts with good old fashioned pen and paper. On this layout, you'll see where I have boxes for text. I have on the left corner where it's marked 4x6, which was a photo. Those little squares in the bottom right, they represent 2x2 um, two two pictures. I even have squiggly lines because this was a pool party layout, which represented water. And I always put little notes at the bottom. So I have blue text, print the title on clear paper. So I kept little notes. If I ran across paper that I wanted to use, I would write the paper on there. Um, on the bottom layout, that's my interpretation of a sun <laughs> on the left hand side. And I was making the sun a text box. So I always kept little notes just on good old fashioned paper and pencil. So it still works today, even if you're on the run and on the go and a layout just comes to mind, there's still a way for you to get it down on pen and paper. After months of using pen and paper, I started using Microsoft Word to do my layouts. This would allow me to spend my lunch break using Word and not having to lug a laptop, which I didn't have at the time, around to actually do my layouts. I would always put in my text if I had my text, so you'll see that in the upper left-hand corner, just so that I would know my spacing. I have my title put in. I would often put in what size pictures. Those are placeholders. And I always put little reminders of what those pictures actually were. In order to do your layouts in Word, um, you go to the File menu. You go to Page Setup. You change your margins. I typically do a quarter of an inch, top, bottom, left, and right, or a half an inch because that allows me to maximize the space that I have for pictures. After changing your margins, you go to the paper tab, select custom settings, and then enter 12 by 12. And so I always view mine in two pages so that I could equally make sure that the boxes were equally spread apart from one another. I still use this sometimes today, but I will say ever since getting my Gypsy, that has been the all-time favorite as far as making layouts are concerned. Next, after using Microsoft Word for about a year, I finally purchased Design Studio from eBay and I began to use this for all my Cricut needs. The main reason why I purchased Design Studio was for the welding feature. The minute I saw that, I knew I had to have it. I wanted to weld all my titles. There was going to be no more of individual gluing letters and running individual letters through my Xyron, and this was just perfect. We're going to use for the purposes of this video, Design Studio, to do our layout. What you see in front of you is a 12 by 24 mat, which will allow you to cut almost an entire two-page 12 by 12 layout at one time. Right now, from Going Places, I've added the building background scenery and because this is a two-page layout I'm gonna copy and place this on both sides and remember this is a two-page 12 by 12 layout this square here which is three by three this represents a picture it may actually be a mat and this square comes from George and basic shapes which has got to be my most used cartridge. This cartridge has more wear and tear than any of the others. I don't know if I can live without it. I basically use this on almost every layout if it involves matting a picture. What I'm doing now is I'm placing these mats the way I want the actual layout to be set up, but I would suggest when you go to cut that if these mats are going to be the same color that you put all the mats together and that's less pieces of scrap paper that you actually have to slice and dice to fit around on your mat. This title comes from Winter Woodland 
And for the sake of time, I won't weld the letters and put them in order. As you can see, some are up or some are down. They have to be moved and nudged and weld together. But for the sake of time, I will just copy and paste them onto the layout. And we'll weld them later. So I'm going to go a fit view so that you can see what the entire thing looks like so far. So I have my top building skate. I have four photos that I'm going to put of the ladies who were out. And then my title. And then comes the ladies form Forever Young. You can't have a girls night out layout without bringing in the sexy ladies from Forever Young. Thank you Provocraft for designing this cartridge. So pretty much when you design your layouts using Design Studio, this is pretty much what it would look like on paper. This still will allow you to get almost your entire layout done at one time. Saves a lot of time and also allows you to use those scraps of paper that you keep tossing to the side. And what we're going to do next, we're going to go to the next level, which is our gypsy, and we'll pick up the design from there. So you can see here I have the same layout with a few more ladies that we designed using Design Studio and I actually have the words all welded and then I have their clothes here. The one thing about the Gypsy is you can plug the Gypsy up to your Cricut and no matter how many different carts you use on a layout the Gypsy will cut them all out at one time. When using Design Studio Design Studio prompts you when to change each cartridge. The one interesting, interesting thing excuse me, I want to point out is actually laying out your paper on your 12 by 24 mat in order to actually cut this entire layout at one time. Slot my gypsy out the way. This is my 12 by 24 mat and I have all my paper lined up according to how I design my layout. So the black paper that you see here at the top, this represents the building scenes and it goes all the way across. This crease here is actually where the 12 inch mark is on the mat. Just press that down a little. The yellow paper represents my photo mats. And remember I told you um, generally what I would do is I would take all of those four squares that I use for photo mats and I would actually put that paper together so this may have been an entire section just for my photo mats but because I had these pieces from previous layouts I decided just to leave the mats where they were on the um, Gypsy and Design Studio so that I would just cut them that way. The pink represents my title, it's the exact spacing for the title and then I have my two shades of brown to represent the ladies that I'm going to cut out and then these are two of pieces of article of clothing for two of the ladies on the mat. I also had extra space where I could have actually got the other two pieces of clothing. There's room for any accessories, um, any uh, title changes. If I had an extra piece of title, a subtitle that I wanted to add, I still had a little bit of space left on my mat. So what we're going to do now is I will put this in the Cricut. I'm going to turn my Cricut on here. I will load my paper and we'll be right back with the cutouts. So now I have pieces of my layout laid down to show you uh, the four ladies that were cut. My title is cut. I have two of the four picture mats cut. Some of the clothing cut out. What you see with the black, that was the cityscape from going places. And what I did was the same pieces of yellow paper that I used to cut my mat. I actually placed them behind the cutout to make it look like the lights were on and for that something added extra I pulled out some sparkles to give the lights a little bling but unfortunately to see the finished layout you have to stay tuned next week for all the designers interpretations of the forever young cartridge so stay tuned for platinum scraps and thank you for watching my video